Today, I'm gonna to show you some alternate methods to make your French cleat shelves. This is Dave in the shop. Stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how. So in the last build project, what I did was made a French cleat bracket the traditional way. So we've got a, a piece of 45 degree stock mounted on the part that we're hanging on the wall and then another little piece that's a spacer that way if we just want to use a single cleat this will hang and that'll press up against the wall keep it from from rotating out of position uh, and that works quite well but i think there's an alternative method that says what we can do is we can cut this piece all as as one piece and the spacer is just integrated into the end of the piece. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you several methods to do that. So we're going to use the laser cutter. We're going to use the CNC milling machine. And of course, one alternative is you could use the jigsaw. So let's look at our first alternative method is to make these brackets with the CNC machine. I've drawn this up in my CAD software and I've set up the tool path for my CNC machine. Here's the preview of what that cut will look like. I'm using three quarter inch plywood and I'm cutting two brackets at a time. The nice thing about CNC is I could gang up many more brackets and cut them all at once. I set up the file using tabs to hold the parts in place while it's being cut. And then I'll use my Dremel tool to release the parts. The next step is to take them over to the sander and sand off the tabs and clean up the part. And once that's done, you've got a CNC French cleat shelf bracket. The next alternative method is to cut this on the laser. So what I've done is I've exported out my vector of the shelf bracket uh, as an Adobe Illustrator file and then I've pulled that up into the Lightburn software. Now using my 100 watt laser and Lightburn to control it, I've set my normal settings that I would use for quarter inch plywood. So we're cutting this out of quarter inch plywood. We'll make several of these and then we'll glue those together uh, to form a three quarter inch bracket. So I'll glue up my three one quarter inch thick pieces and that will make a three quarter inch bracket. So I'll glue that, clamp all of those, and let them dry. After unclamping, then they need a little bit of sanding to clean them up. And then there's the finished bracket, all sanded and ready for use. And finally, here's the jigsaw method. So you draw up the piece uh, on the plywood and then cut it out with the jigsaw and the same thing once you've got it all cut out do a little bit of sanding and then you've got a French cleat bracket that's ready for use so there you have it traditional French cleat method three alternative ways uh, to create a shelf bracket for French cleat I'm really excited about the CNC method. I think there's a lot of things that I can do, changes in the design that I can do in the CAD software and create lots of different uses for French cleat here in the workshop. So let me know what you think. Tell me in the comments if you have a preferred method. Hope you enjoyed this build. Please remember to like and subscribe. This is Dave in the shop. We'll see you on the next video.